Hey everyone, welcome back to Blue Fire, episode 2. I got the game up and running without crashes, as then I came back to this spot that I was at. Here's the thing, I may have been an idiot, maybe I was just not paying attention. You have to manually save in this game. There was also another thing I picked up. This, a sapphire ore. Oh, hello, wait a second. What is this? A pure fire essence elixir restores health. Shit. How do you use it, though? How do you use it? Um... I'm trying all the buttons. It's not down. That's the emote. That's how you refill your health. I should have guessed it. I really should have guessed it. Um, cool. We can move on. Welcome to Blue Fire. Uh, let's see if I'm actually... Yes, I'm recording sound as well. Excelente. Let's not yeet ourselves off the edge here. This is like some... It's better to go unlocked. Okay. Just be careful. Yeah, so the thing is, coming through here the second time around, uh, I feel like I'm starting to, starting to get more of a feel for the combat. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's more Zelda. It's definitely... Oh, was that a parry? I saw in one of the kind of tips um, in the loading screens that you parry by letting go of the shield button just the moment the opponent strikes you. Like straight after, that's how you parry. I think I managed to pull one off there. Emerald ore, cool. Anyways, um... You guys seem to be liking this game as well, and I think it's a fun one. This is just the type of palate cleanser I need after a Souls game, because, you know, as much as I like Souls games, and I do like them. Greetings, Traveler, Awaken Fire Shrine statue? Hell yeah. As much as I like Souls games, I don't want to play Souls games... 365 days a year, all the time, you know. Okay, so apparently you can save like this as well. It just doesn't tell you about the manual save, interestingly. Spirits. Locked, locked, locked. I'm guessing these are like perks or something. Mana. Would you like to trade shadow fragments for mana? Fuck it, why not? Hell yeah. I mean, if you if you got it, give it. A weird Cthulhu-looking thing. Is this increasing my... Blue thingy, my shield meter? I think it is. I mean, is there no reason not to use it, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Cool. Looks like that's all you can do. We have our bonfire equivalent. So of course, we have a bonfire equivalent. Why wouldn't we? Let's move on. So obviously, you know... As this is kind of a more edited playthrough, I'm going to be cutting out my... kind of rumbacks and shit like that. However, I think this is looking like an episode where just... shit will go down, so... Oh, fuck. Okay, that was an interesting one. There might be parts where there's just like simply nothing to edit out. And then it will play out like a box standard Mr. Sketchhead playthrough. What the hell is that? Inspect. The only thing that's shitty, interesting, it's like a fucking CCTV. Cool. Uh, the only thing that's kind of annoying is that this shield button and the 
uh, interact button are the same. So it leads to like sometimes. There it is. So it just, I think you do more damage. Because I definitely wasn't able to kill these guys in two hits. Directed dash. Yeah. Thanks, bruh, but I think I've managed to figure this out. <laughs> you're thinking you're, I'm like some sort of noob. Listen. I'm the veteranest of veterans. Am I going to spend cash for emotes? Of course I am. And am I going to check out every single emote? You can bet your ass. Very nice. Interesting. I wonder if these are all going to be like platformer related or whether we're going to have some combat ones. Yeah, because a lot of the game games do these. Bayonetta comes to mind. He's like challenges. And Bayonetta is good. I still need to fucking finish Bayonetta too. Um, I started it. I got not very far, but I, I got I got some ways into it, and I just stopped. Is there Bayonetta three coming? I I don't remember. I haven't been keeping up. But if there is, I'm looking forward to that. Good old Bayo. I still need to play Devil May Cry five. It's another one of those games on oh shit on my bucket list. You see how like. I don't know, like in tune with this game I am now. And just, I don't know, I guess it all clicked. Which is something I shouldn't say. Learning. I, I should just shut up. I should, I should never ever say anything because as soon as I say in any game that I'm do go doing good, it's like, I'm guaranteed to fucking die. Like, it's the Mr. Sketchhead classic. Classic moves, you know. At least, again, as I stated in the last episode, the one saving grace here is that it's impossible to die from fall damage. Sure, I can fall, but I sure as shit ain't gonna be dying from it. Because, you know, like, ledges are the boy's number one enemy. Fuck. It's kind of annoying that you can't dash. Uh, that doesn't even take HP from you. I thought you would at least lose health. But strangely, you don't. Uh, again, if you are... If you've been around the channel, you know that ledges are the boy's number one enemy. And finally there is a game where I'm free from them. This game. You know, the thing is that this game is really bringing like the nostalgia factor. I think that was the before the crash topic that I was talking about. How like um, reminiscent this game is of old school platformers, like Gex, like uh, Rayman, and all that. And hey, if they can spice that up with a bit of Souls flair, I'm down with that. Even if this game didn't have Souls flair, I'd be, I'd be all over this shit. Sometimes you just need a good platformer, you know. You remember when I played Rayman? I think last year or the year before. And that was a good one. No, I played that the year before. For sure before COVID. Which is obviously how everybody measures shit now. 
It's like BC, AC, before COVID, after COVID. Thanks for the HP. <sighs> cool. Here's what I'm going to do, though. I ain't playing around with anything now. I wonder if you can make that. No, you can't. At least I don't. It didn't look like you could. I mean, but still. It looks like you could grab onto that, but no, I'm just losing HP at this point. Whatever. I guess we gotta go for the other side here then. I don't see any any other possibilities here. Cool, let's see what this is. Oh, fuck you. Get parried, bitch. This is gonna be a really obvious tutorial again. Directed dash. Oh, hold on a second. Lock movement. I should have been paying attention to this. I like didn't realize what the fuck this is. Okay. Okay. I see you game. I'm going to eat my words because I was a dumbass. I thought this was just showing you how to like, you know, dodge to the side when you're locked onto an enemy or something. And I'm like, hey, that's like super fucking obvious. Hello, hello, hello. Better sword. Fuck yeah. What the hell? Do you gotta like emote here or something? That's what it looked like to me, but maybe it's like used for some specific ability we're gonna be getting later. Okay, here we go. That is dope. That is dope. All right, then I see your shtick game. Not sure if that's gonna be ever be useful in combat, but for puzzles, for sure. Strangely, I was gonna say that this game also reminds me of Darksiders a little bit. For sure. It's got a Darksiders vibe, the first one. That's gonna be a boss. Like this is this is the most boss arena, boss arena I've ever seen. There's like rumbling and shit too. Of course. Listen, I know a boss when I see one. Been around the block a couple of times. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Fierce warriors, warrior in the shadows. Listen carefully to this message. Okay, I'm wrong. Upon the dawn of shadows have my brothers fallen. Vigorously have I too fought the shadows. But that same destruction now threatens my deathbed. What the fuck? Through tunnels in, in the heart of the city. My, my fucking <laughs> PC monitor just went offline. Through the tunnels in the heart of the city... There you shall find my resting ground, the forest shrine. Oh, this is like the Gwen of this world, warrior who vanquishes the shadows with his blade. Please come to my aid, I will be waiting for you. Or this is a princess. We also be we could also be going for the poon here. Uh depending on how things work out here. 
All right, for a shrine. Sounds like a plan. I I didn't even know that was a thing. I just went there and apparently that's where you got to go. Arcane tunnels. Oh, this is like super classic as well. This like little introduction to areas. Nice. Apparently, we got a new level here on our hands. Okay. You do a lot of damage. I got blasted. I got blasted. Okay, I should have I should have seen that coming. Yeah, that was that was whatever. The only question here before I get back to where I was is yeah, this is this is the only way you can go, I think. Uh, I don't see any other path. All right, down the sewers it is. It's such like a I don't know. This game is reminding me of a lot of things. That re like specifically reminded me or got me thinking about Conquer. Conquer's bad for a day. I don't know why. I always forget that you can also um, attack in the air in this game. Just watch out for his like smell that he releases. Rusty set of keys, they seem useless. Oh, is this gonna be like a key area? Like a uh, where the fuck do I go type area, I'm guessing. The question is, is this an, uh, this is an NPC? Orip. Oh, greetings traveler, my name is Orip. Now listen closely, I've traveled far across the land, seeking this and sticking and studying the things I love most in the world. Alright, well Dark Souls 2 has the ladder guy, and this game has the elevator guy. Hell yeah, elevators are dope. Look at how happy he or she is. Penumbra was once flooded with the elevators transporting travelers out and about. Sadly, most of the ones that remain are broken. Say, are you by any chance heading for Stoneheart City? Elevators! Oh, he's fucking schizophrenic too. Yes. Uh, that red text is hard to see. Sadly, it's broken, but what do you know? Master Orip is here. I can help you fix the elevator. If you head up north and then head west, you'll eventually find the elevator. I will meet you there. Now let me open the way for you. Oh, dope! It just has the main quest. Oh, it's a main quest too, elevator duties. Sounds like a plan. Man, I love elevators. Fucking Dark Souls loves... <laughs> Two? Seriously? Fucking Dark Souls loves elevators too. I feel like that's a... Oh, come on. Shit. Motherfuck. Hold on a second. It said game over. Wait, did, did it always say game over when I died? Or is there like only a couple of lives that you get? If yes, I'm fucked. I wasn't paying. Oh, no, 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 no. You just get respawned here. Cool. I guess it always says game over. I just like didn't register it. Okay, so what I also got to remember is that... Uh, I have healing items, so whenever in doubt, you know, 
and by doubt I mean fucking falling into the acid. I gotta remember that I can heal. Sapphire or I have a feeling that these are weapon upgrades for some reason. I think this is where we gotta do and go actually. Fuck. Man is it easy to slide in. Um Yeah, it's not even like me not jumping or anything, it's just falling in like an idiot. Cool, give me an emoji. Windmill. This sounds like a good one. Let's check out this Fortnite dance. Yep. <laughs> cool. Listen. I get entertained by shit like this. A rotting body. Okay, well, there's a change of pace for you. Uh, it's just a rotting corpse, you know. The guards cannot resist anymore. A shadow approaches me. I can't stand the death sound. It's deafening. Never imagined dying in such hell. Death to the goddess. This is a this is straight up like a Hollow Knight type story, right? Uh, isn't Hollow Knight the same thing where? Yeah, like this cutesy hero and with the corruption and all that. I think I think this we got a Hollow Knight on our hands. 3D Hollow Knight, which you listen, if you can't beat them, join them type deal, right? Platforming God. can't beat 90s kids so yeah, I think that's what we this game even has like a oh shit okay you can't grab there's a lesson for you you cannot grab the spiky ledges which I guess makes sense all right Don't ask me why I'm rushing, but I don't know. There's like a desire in me to. <sighs> Told you. Super Meat Boy. I've played that as well. Doesn't like relate at all to what we're doing here, but I don't know. And Super Meat Boy is really fun though. I'm still not sure. I haven't picked up the second game, Super Meat Boy Forever. I don't know about it. Randomly generated. And it's like an infinite runner. You know, not like a... You don't have like full control over your character. I don't know, man. Honestly, for me, I felt like the best part of Super Meat Boy was that the levels were so, like, good. Because they were... Oh, come on. Please grab. Because the levels were, like, so deliberately designed to be that specific way. I don't know. That's what made them... That's what made them dope. The randomly generated stuff, uh, I feel like it works for Isaac, but not for Super Meat Boy. Oh, that's another game I'm looking forward to this year. You know, whenever I get to sketchy Saturdays, I never have time to look at, or I mean talk about games that I'm looking forward to, because there's honestly not that much going on, I feel like. Do you gotta go from here? Yeah, you do. But yeah, there's the Binding of Isaac Repentance, I think, or Retribute. No, Repentance. By the way, check out Sketchy Sundays. Saturdays. Sketchy Saturdays. Get the name of my own show wrong. Um, there's gonna be a card 
after you're done watching make sure to check out sketchy saturdays not sundays saturdays okay how the motherfuck do i get over there doesn't seem oh yeah yeah it does it's the perspective you know so it was weirding me out yeah ske sketchy saturdays i've brought back and we'll see if the show the show like fucking network television or something develops or anything and i'm having fun doing like little updates even though people don't seem to be that interested in them i felt like it's still a good way to like talk to people and get my whatever points across whatever is going on that day these are these are fun these get my platforming itch itching i guess um Hold on a second. Okay, that's not a secret. I thought there was like some super secret platform there. Oh god, it's so easy to fall in. Hello there. An old map. Which you cannot take with you. But let's move on to bigger and better things. Listen, what did I say at the start that I got this game on lockdown? In terms of the gameplay, I think that's still looking like the case. Oh, is there another one? Hell yeah. Bet your ass I'm gonna do that. Just for more HP, but this gives me anything other than HP. Oh, come on, why does it keep going down into my screen? Keep switching to um, rest mode, which is weird because I am recording. It's just weird that it does that. Path of victory. I think this will be like the perfect path, kind of cap off to this episode. Path of victory even sounds like some dope shit. Oh, there's guy like gonna be some new mechanics here. Hell yeah. What the hell? Hmm. Oh, I know what. Hmm. You have to dodge through them. Oh, hello. Secret. I guess it's not a secret, but... Hmm. Okay. There's like some new shit going on here. Yeah, it boosts you a little bit. Okay. You just gotta be brave. Void or Naisu. I'm guessing Naisu. Shit. That's like difficult to reach. Hmm. That's kind of like a weird... You can't survive. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops, 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 whoops. I thought you could survive falls forever, but I'm guessing not. Guessing that ain't the, that ain't the case. It was weird that I was taking damage there. Yeah. 
Yeah, interesting. Okay, so when you hit that, you get your you get all of your actions back. So you can jump and you can a dash. I thought you could only dash after. Now it makes sense. Did I get that? I think I did. Now everything is clicking into... I did not get it. Thanks. I got this one as well. I got this one. Yeah, now everything clicks into place. Yeah. Cool. Easy as hell. Told you. Just gotta just gotta figure out what the fuck is going on, and then it's you know, it's all good. And that I think is like a perfect a perfect cap off to this episode right here. Um second part of Blue fire. Yeah, one thing is... Oh, there's a checkpoint here as well. That's an even more perfect. I don't have enough ore. Oh, yeah, bitch. Yeah, just wait a second. Um, I'm gonna go ore farming here, I think. Um, yeah, the only thing is... Title is kind of generic for this game, but that's all good. I got the cash now. So I'm gonna unlock the shrine. And as we do that, I'm going to go ahead and ramp up this episode here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the second episode of Blue Fire. As always, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all the usual. Uh, turn on post notifications. Streams for Dark Souls 3 coming from tomorrow. Until then, take care guys. Hope you enjoyed. And yeah, peace out. See you and goodbye.